Hello, my name is Sheridan. I am the circuitry artist, and this is going to be the beginning of a long course in how to build, understand, and work with electronic circuits. Everything from AC, DC, and digital theory to logic gates and amplification systems and the, the such like. So, in this video, I'm just going to cover how to use the software that I use to build and observe the circuits that I think of. The, cir the software is called Falstad Circuit Simulator, and it's a very comprehensive and very detailed and very powerful kind of tool. Uh, there is a couple of drawbacks with Falstad in that it does not recognize some of the very more specific components. Um, the components are, are fairly general, so there's not like a specific chip. The only specific chip I think it refers to is a 555 timer, but if you have a, a spe like a specific chips that chip that has a bunch of logic gates in it, there isn't a chip for that, but you can actually physically add each logic gate that you need as an individual component instead of a chip. So I'll just show you how to get into this into the program. All you need is a web browser, a web address, and a little processing power. I have it bookmarked up here. I will put the link in the description to get to the Falstad Circuit Simulator. And this is what you see when you enter the website. This is an example circuit. Uh, you don't have to pay attention to this. It's just a little quirk that Falstad does is that it comes up with this circuit anytime you ent enter the website. So if you want to go ahead and start creating your own circuit, all you have to do is go up to the circuits menu and click at the very bottom of the menu where it says blank circuit and it will wipe the slate clean there will be nothing on it and you can you are free to play with the field so the most basic component of, component of any circuit is a wire and to add a wire there are two main ways to do it in Falstead you can either right click and right there it says add wire in the drop down menu or if you didn't want to open up the menu every single time you want to add a component there are a number of hotkeys that I would like to cover in this video I won't be covering all of them just some of the mo more common ones so to add a wire all you have to do is make sure one that caps lock is off make sure caps lock is off I'm gonna say it again make sure caps lock is off and press W so instantly you can see your cursor changes to a crosshair that's how you know that you're adding a component instead of uh, editing a component. So, with the cursor as a crosshair, you can click, hold down the left mouse button, and drag, and you can create a wire. It's very simple. And with the mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out on that wire, and... Uh, and uh, in and out of the whole circuit. Uh, the next component that we can add is a resistor and you can do that by right clicking and clicking add resistor or as you can see there's a little R here that means the hotkey for resistor is R. So if we just press R we can add a resistor. So then we can add a couple of wires by pressing W and connecting our circuit into a complete loop. And so to delete a component out of our circuit, we can simply mouse over until it's highlighted blue, right click and click delete. So let's say I wanted to put a voltage source in this circuit to make it work. I simply press V and it comes up with the symbol for a battery and I just click and drag like I'm adding a wire so then to move this component into position all I have to do is press space and my mouse will transform to a cursor from a crosshair and when it is a mouse the cursor icon you can click and drag and it will drag the whole component points and everything to a position. Now to close this circuit, if I wanted to close that circuit, 
there's a the control key will let me drag specific points of a component to other parts of the field so if I hold down control I can't just press it once I have to hold it down and I mouse over the point that I want to move I can now move that point without moving the other end of the component so now I've created a circuit as you can see the little dot tiny dots that flow through the wire represent the current the green represents voltage that's going through the circuit voltage doesn't actually flow I'll explain that in a later video but I have created a circuit and if I wanted to adjust my points I simply hold down control and there I made it a little bit smaller so I can zoom in so you have hotkeys so one thing uh, to know about hotkeys is that they are case sensitive and it will matter if the caps lock key is on or off so for example if I press L I will add an LED to the circuit if I have caps lock on and I press L I will add an inductor to the circuit because those are represented by the same uh, sort of represented by the same um, letter just one's lowercase and one's capital so pay attention to your capitals Uh, the, the last feature that I would like to go over in this video is using the import and export features. So say for instance that I wanted to save this circuit or send this circuit to a friend to have him look at it. It's a very simple process. All you have to do is go to the file menu up in the corner. And the two ones that, we, uh, that I use most often and are the most user friendly I think to use are the import and export with text. So if I wanted to save this circuit I simply click export as text. And so it'll come up with this little window and I can just click in the window press control A to select all the text and then control C and it will copy that text for me. So in order to save that, I can just open up a notepad file, paste it into the notepad file, and that means when I close out this window, I can simply open up the internet again, click on Falstad, and then I can once again import the file. Control A. Control C and then I can copy and paste it into this import box and it comes up with the same circuit that I had before. This is a really easy way to save the save files um, on your computer. Sometimes I think the uh, there are other saving options that you can use if you would like. I just like the text files because they I can basically put savings of my circuits anywhere. I can put it in a blog post, I can save it as a notepad file, which doesn't take up a whole lot of memory. Um, so, uh, there is one more feature that I would like to go over, and that is um, some of the visual features um, options up here. You can hide your current, you can hide the voltage, and uh, let's see. You can make it a white background, so in case you wanted to publish the schematic in some sort of paper. You can make it more visually appealing and match the background and whatnot. So, uh, I hope you will continue to follow me on my on, on these tutorials. Um, in the next video, I will co cover some of the more technical aspects of what uh, false, false dad sim Simulator can do. Uh, and then we will start getting into some of the more... Uh, meaty matters of electronic circuits in general. But I, I just wanted a couple of videos so that other people could understand and follow along with what I'm doing in Falstad. Since it's, um, in my coursework, I don't think anybody had, <laughs> none of my teachers had heard of, of the, this Falstad circuit simulator before. 
and I think it's a, a very um, it's a very powerful tool and it's it certainly makes circuits make a whole lot of sense to somebody who isn't who can't really visualize on their own what's going on inside of an electronic circuit so uh, hit that thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in the next video